Blair, you know, I was just talking about Lindsay. I served with him in the House uh, starting in 94. You served with him in the U.S. Senate. And, you know, Lindsay's Lindsay. You know, we know he kind of he goes with the wind. But I think I, you, you tell me if, if you don't feel like me that I mean, I'm sure you're even surprised that he has betrayed Ukraine, betrayed Israel and betrayed Taiwan, all because Donald Trump told him to. Yeah, I sat across from Lindsay on the Armed Services Committee for 12 years. And if somebody would have told me during those 12 years that there would become a time that Lindsey Graham would vote against essential aid to Ukraine to stop Putin and vote against aid to Israel and vote against aid to Taiwan, I would say, well, I, I will bet whatever money you have that that would never happen. I had no idea that he had this character flaw. I had no idea that he was this really, frankly, disturbed in terms of needing approval from someone that has more power than he has. And it's, it's, it's just frightening to me that he would do this. Now, if you look at the list of people who voted no, from the new supposed rocket star Katie Britt, who supposed to be a McConnell ally and was handpicked by what I would consider the traditional Republican Party. And you look at Tim Scott and you look at J.D. Vance, what you see is a list of people who want to be vice president. They all voted no. They all voted for the new Republican Party that is pro-Putin and pro-making consumers in America pay more for their TVs and many other washers and dryers and many other things because of a, 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 a trade policy that does nothing but punish Americans who buy things by making prices go higher. So it is, it is just mind-bending to me that Lindsey Graham has become this, but this is who he is and we should recognize it. Well, and, and, and Donnie Deutsch was showing pictures of Donald Trump uh, with Vladimir Putin, of course, going back to the Lemire press conference. Uh, nobody will ever forget, I think, as long as Donald Trump's in politics. Uh, when Donald Trump, look at him. He, he, was, he was just oh my God. submissive to Vladimir Putin, so much so that when Jonathan, our, our own Jonathan Lemire asked, hey, do you trust Vladimir Putin more or your own intel chiefs that you appointed? He's like, uh, uh, I, I trust Vladimir Putin more. And, you know, this is shocking, but I still believe, I still believe in America that siding with Vladimir Putin over Ukraine, over the West, over Western democracy, over freedom, I still believe that has consequences with the American voters. I still believe that Americans believe that we are a city shining brightly on the hill for all the world to see. And like Ronald Reagan, that we, we are the torch of freedom that is spread across the world. I believe it. Joe, I believe it And I too. think most Americans believe it, Donnie. And I do not believe that Americans will support a guy and put him back in the White House who betrays Israel, who betrays Ukraine, who betrays Taiwan, and who betrays freedom fighters across the globe. I don't believe it. Donald Trump betrays pretty much every issue where the American people are. I mean, it starts with Putin, and it starts with our role in the world, and it starts with protecting Ukraine, and it starts with protecting Israel, but it also goes to protecting a woman's right to choose for her body. It goes to protecting against immigration, against the, our borders. It goes for protecting against democracy. You know, we, there's a right track, wrong track issue in, in polls all the time. There's a right side, wrong side. And what's stunning is beyond his own kind of personal liabilities on the issues. He's wrong on everything. And two things are going to happen as, and you guys touched on this in the previous hour, as we get close to the election. Number one, we're going to see more and more of Donald Trump. To me, if I had my way, there would be a town hall meeting every single night. So as the light shines brighter on Trump, People are going to, as you talked about, it's a binary choice. It's Trump or Biden. They're going to go with Biden. And as the light gets shine on the issues, he and the Republicans are on the wrong side of just about every issue that matters to Americans. And that's what wins and loses elections. And, Mike, uh, we were talking about how Donald Trump is narrow casting when he talks about abandoning NATO allies and making them pay up. Very unpopular minority opinion, according to this new poll that we've been talking about this morning. And so, too, is this Senate position on Ukraine, 
Americans believe it's important to help Ukraine in this fight. They don't want to see Russia win. So they're digging deeper and deeper in fealty to Donald Trump into these positions that are not popular in this country. Yeah, led partially by people like Lindsey Graham, as yeah. Joe and Miku have just pointed out, a sad, spineless figure that we thought we knew, but we don't really know. And to Joe's point that he just raised about people in this country, what they believe in, they believe in the country, first of all. And I'm wondering, yesterday, the former guy, D.J. Trump, here's what he said in that town hall meeting. We have a country that's dying. We have a country that's failing, a failing nation. We have a nation in decline. We are a nation in decline. And my question is, to the people out there watching, to the people who go to work every day, who raise their children and pay their taxes. Why is it that this new Republican Party, so many of them, people like Donald Trump, people like Lindsey Graham, why do they hate America? I, it's, it's a great question, and it's one that I've been asking for some That's time. A really good question. Why do they hate America? Why does Donald Trump hate America? Why does Donald Trump say... America, forget about the hating. Why does he lie about America? It's Nancy so much? Pelosi's question. Why does he always lie about America and tear down America? He says we're in a nation in decline. Please, please try telling that to their allies. They will laugh like a bitter laugh because they look at the United States economy and they're jealous. Mm -hmm. They're jealous because our economy is stronger than any economy in the world. We've had people coming on this show since 2007 saying China was going to overtake us. Their economy would be lord. No, it's just not happened. And as I said in 2007 and 2008, and people pushed back on me, it's still not going to happen. The U.S. economy has a $25 trillion GDP. It's how big our economy is every year. China's at about $17 billion. Europe, the EU, that Donald Trump hates so much, about a 22, 23, 24 billion GDP. Together, the United States and our European friends have a $50 billion economic machine. Russia, 1.3, 1.4 billion. Almost 50 times, almost 50 times the, 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 the size, our economies combined. Of, of Russia's and more than double of China's. Our economy is strong. Our numbers better than anybody else's numbers. Are there some pockets that need to be improved? Are groceries still too expensive? Yeah, groceries are still too expensive. Americans are paying about 11% of, of their paycheck for groceries. That's about what they paid, you know, in the 90s. But, you know, it's got to get better. But overall, you look at jobs, you look at GDP, you look, you look at every trend. We're doing better not only than our allies, but we're doing better than the people who consider the United States our enemies. And our military, they lie about our military. And, and I served on the Armed Services Committee uh, in the House. I know you served on the Armed Services Committee in the Senate, Claire. You've seen how great... Our men and women in uniform, are they are, God, they're the best of the best. And you look at every rating from around the world, rating militaries. The United States military, stronger than it's ever been relative to the rest of the world since 1945. There's not a close second. In fact, in the latest ranking I saw, Russia was second. And Russia's a, a, a military is collapsing. Russia was second to the U.S. military. And yet Donald Trump lies about America's greatness. Donald Trump lies about America's men and women in uniform. Donald Trump lies about what small business owners and entrepreneurs and 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 the geniuses of Silicon Valley, and what, the, the geniuses on Main Street USA, what they're all doing, what they've done to rebuild our economy after COVID. The lies. I don't understand it, Claire. Why do they bash America so much?